and we get to work on practical uh, projects in SAP labs. And then uh, we, we, we are enrolled in a work integrated learning program. That is, we get to do our masters from uh, BITS Pilani. Um, uh, it's an MTech degree. Uh, it's completely sponsored by SAP Labs. Select uh, it from both the streams, uh, from BTech and from BCA. And I guess uh, they select from BSc computer science people also. There in the second round, they asked us about uh, logical aptitude and some reasoning questions. And actually, I was into a bit of competitive programming. I wouldn't call myself one. I used to do it on Lead Code and HackerRank. Uh, hey everyone, if you're done with your final year and looking forward to pursue higher studies that too completely sponsored. So this video is for you. I'll be discussing one special opportunity by SAP Labs where they offer a complete full-fledged sponsored program to do MTech in Bits Pilani. So hi everyone, in this video I have with me Arshita. She's currently a final year BCA student at Amrita College of Science and Technology. So we'll talk with her regarding her entire experience of this SAP Lab Scholar program, how she was able to grab this amazing opportunity and how, what are the perks and benefits of this program. So this is going to be an amazing interaction and you'll come to know like if you are into research or you want to pursue higher studies and uh, you're looking forward to an amazing program. So this is an amazing opportunity for you. This is open to students from BCA as well as from BTEC. So if you are pursuing BTEC as well as BCA, so you will have to go through certain processes like I'll, I have discussed it entirely with uh, Arshita, how she was able to crack those things and how you can prepare for these opportunities better, like what type of things have been asked, how you should prepare if you are looking forward to this opportunity in future. So we have discussed it entirely and I hope you will like this amazing video. But before that, if you haven't already liked this channel, share this channel and subscribe this channel, go ahead and do that. This will give me a bit of motivation to create more and more content for all of you. So I hope you all have liked, shared and subscribed and do comment in the comment box of your feedback like what all things you are liking, what all things you are not liking so that I can improve the future. So let's see this amazing conversation. Uh, thank you so much Arshita for accepting the invitation and coming here. Hi everyone, so today we have with us Arshita. She's in the final year of her BCA and she's pursuing it from Amrita College of Arts and Science. So today she's here to discuss her experience of a uh, scholar at SAP Labs. So it's an initiative by SAP Labs. So we'll talk more about it in the in detail in this video. But before that, we'd like to uh, have a brief introduction of Arshita from Arshita. Um, hi everyone, my name is Arshita. I'm from Amrita School of Arts and Sciences, Mysore. I'm in my final year of BCA um, and I'm very happy to be here. So uh, Arshita, tell us something more about uh, studies in BCA. like. Which all subjects do you study in BCA? Like, if we can relate those subjects to uh, BTEC computer science, like, what all is the curriculum of BCA in general? I guess it's much similar to BTEC except the first year. Uh, we don't get to study physics um, and all the other subjects. Uh, coming to computer science concepts, uh, it's mainly focused on practical knowledge rather than the theoretical stuff. Um, we had one paper on theory, which was software engineering. Other than that, we had uh, programming languages and uh, DBMS, all the engineering subjects. And we had labs and mobile application development, uh, all these things. So when you talk about your particular college life at Amrita uh, College of Arts and Science, so how was your college life and like what all things you explored as a part of your college? Oh, my college is uh, pretty amazing. Um, it's not just about the academic stuff. We had so many clubs uh, when we were going on campus. Uh, even after they switched to virtual mode, uh, our clubs continued and uh, yeah, the teachers are very friendly and very supportive. Um, we got a bit of everything at Amrita and I really love my college. Great, great, great. So now coming upon to the particular opportunity that we are to discuss today. So how did you get to know about uh, SAP scholar program and like was it an on campus or an off campus opportunity? Yeah, it was on campus. Um, initially, we got to know about the internship provided by SAP Labs. Uh, but then uh, that time I couldn't attend it. Um, later, we got to know that they are offering this scholar program. Uh, then I applied to it and then it began. Okay, so when you talk about certain perks and benefits of this particular program, so when an individual is selected for being a, a SAP lab scholar, 
so what all perks and benefits uh, he gets uh, so my work hasn't begun yet uh, it starts from august but uh, up until now what i've heard from uh, seniors and other um, people who have been through it is uh, so basically uh, we get to be on rotational programs for 7 months and we get to work on practical uh, projects in sab labs and then uh, we uh, on the other part of it uh, we we are enrolled in a work integrated learning program that is we get to do our masters from uh, bits pilani um uh, it's an mtech degree um so yeah and these are the basic uh, perks of being a scholar so that a uh, masters degree is completely sponsored by sap labs right yeah it's completely sponsored by sap labs okay that's super amazing that you'll be pursuing your higher education and that too uh, it's completely sponsored by sap labs so congratulations yeah. on that. so now talking about certain eligibility criteria is like uh, who all are eligible for this particular program uh, so uh, they select uh, it from both the streams uh, from btech and from bca and i guess uh, they select from bsc computer science people also so the thing is for bca and bsc people it's four years program and uh, for btech it's two years so both uh, both of us get to do our masters from uh, bits pilani but we'll be uh, uh, in a four years program and they'll be in two years program okay so is there any particular cgpa criteria or cgpa cut off that they made in those students who yeah. have a particular yeah they had told us i guess uh, seven cgpa was the minimum criteria to enter the initial test okay so now moving up on to the actual process of selection like what were some of the rounds when we talk about uh, online whether an online test was held or how the interviews were conducted and what all things were important from uh, learning point of view and which all topics were covered in these interviews as well as test um so sap labs was one of the first companies which came on campus for, uh, for recruiting and uh, that time uh, they had told us it will be extremely technical and um, the main con- uh, concentration should be given on uh, oop concepts and dbms so my first round uh, was on hackerang platform it was basically two coding questions and uh, i guess 12 to 15 technical questions there was no aptitude or anything like that it was um, mainly focused on oop concepts and dbms of uh, the first round so after uh, first round i had five rounds of interviews including that yeah okay so, so after wait. that yeah yeah continue continue yeah so after that again the second round was on hacker and platform um the interviewers were very supportive uh, that's one thing i really liked about the entire interview process uh there in the second round they asked us about uh, logical aptitude and some reasoning questions and again some coding questions okay uh and there, there was another technical round which co- was conducted on teams uh there um, mainly questions were asked on technologies like cloud computing um devops uh, all the main technologies and again they asked us questions about post fix and infix and all those things And so this was yeah, basically the process for two rounds of interviews right and after that you had some other rounds as well yeah uh, uh, i had one managerial round and two hr rounds after that okay so what uh, so was man- the and hr rounds uh managerial round was about um, you know giving us scenarios on how we handle pressures uh or um, giving uh, like they asked us an example where we took an initiative to solve problems any uh, any volunteering activities or anything like that both uh, regarding academics and non academics uh in hr rounds uh, it was you know tell me about yourself and why sap and uh, again they the uh, interviewer asked me about uh, to explain technologies like ml and ai in layman terms so that normal people can understand it and then he asked uh, some scenario based questions again okay. so it's it's uh, a type of interview that companies conduct when they hire an individual for a software engineer role or a uh, similar kind of role right it's similar kind of interviews happen for this as well yeah so when you talk about your preparation resources so how did you study for this particular uh, 
opportunity or like what was in general preparation that you did from a first year of your college till now so for uh, um, when our placement started um, before that only uh, initially i was into a bit of competitive programming i wouldn't call myself one i used to do it on lead code and hacker rank uh, but when the interview was uh, scheduled and when we got to know that companies like sap labs are attending i started solving problems on hacker rank uh, every single day i made a schedule for myself uh, my main uh, mainly concentrated languages were c++ and java so i used to solve all my uh, problems in c++ and java other than that um, we had uh, campus uh, recruitment trainings in our college for soft skills and um, technical round i studied uh, oop concepts really well uh, especially the four pillars the abstraction and encapsulation and stuff so yeah and dbms dbms is one thing that we really need to concentrate on okay so when you talk about uh, the complete process of any recruitment or anything so resume plays a very important part so did was resume an important part of the recruitment process like were you grilled upon your resume in interview rounds or like was there any initial shortlisting based upon resume oh yes um so all the eligible students were asked to submit their resumes priorly and i guess resume and i think resume plays a really important role um and we should concentrate on whatever we are putting on our resume and one thing i feel is um only if you're thorough about it or if you know about it then you should put it on your resume and don't just put it uh, anything specific that like what type of things did you put in your resume or uh, like how was your particular resume for sap labs so i had uh, my uh, like uh, i was thorough in dbms and i knew a bit of uh, os also so i had listed dbms and os so my interested fields are uh, data science and ml so i had listed that as well so probably from that they asked me more of ai and ml questions by the end of uh, hr round and other than that yeah the projects also plays a really important role um in one of the technical rounds uh, the interviewer asked me to explain my project and was it uh, was it done on a large scale and was it distributed and all this stuff so i listed my projects as well okay so uh, coming upon to the concluding part of this amazing interaction i hope many people will be benefited uh, who are looking forward to have such amazing opportunities so like final piece of advice to anyone who is looking at uh, being into this position of sap scholar or who is preparing for this particular role so what i'd like to say is um, solve at least like two problems every single day on platforms like hacker rank or uh, lead code and be thorough with oop concepts like you should know each and every minor details like especially when it comes to static methods and all the stuff and uh, be if you are at uh, giving your placement interviews as for sap labs specifically i'd say you should know um, about dbms thoroughly so that was all for this particular interaction i hope it was uh, something amazing people would get to know about this opportunity and they will also explore on to uh, how things are being done when it comes to selection process of sap sap scholar program so thank you so much arshita once again for coming here and sharing your experience thank you so much thank you arsh thank you for coming here i hope this insightful journey of arshita how she was able to crack this amazing opportunity being a student from bca and how you can be able to grab this opportunity in your coming future i hope you will start preparing for this if you are looking forward to this amazing opportunity for more such amazing content and amazing opportunities do subscribe this channel and share it with your friends and let me know in the comment section what all things you want from me in future so thank you all the best good luck bye bye